Hello everyone. Welcome to happymath.com. So today we are going to talk about uh, finding mean, sample variance, and standard deviation using the mean deviation method. Okay, so look at this problem. So I calculate the mean, sample variance, and the standard deviation of five students exam score from a statistic course with a total of 25 students. So those are sample data set, basically 75, 85, 74, 79, and 78 here. Okay, the first thing you have to do, which is organize this data, I mean, because of we, this is just a small number of data, you don't have to make maybe either ascending or descending order. I mean, that's the reason I also organized this way as the data shown on the above, okay? But the first step we have to do, which is to find the mean value, okay? Then how to find the mean value? So another meaning of mean equal to average. It represents that you are adding all this data, which means adding all data and divide by number of data. Then you can find the mean here. So how to find this? So you are adding all this data, like a 75 plus 85, 74, 79, 78, and count it. One, two, three, four, five different data. So divide by five. If you do so, you will get 391. And then still we have five data counting here, right? Okay, so for the last step of finding mean, just to make a division here. So 391 over five. Then what do you get? You will get approximately 78.2. So that's your mean value. Okay, so the first answer mean become 78.2 here. Now, second step. So we need to find out mean deviation. So mean deviation means the difference between each data and the mean. So the notation is this way. So this is each data. And that's the mean. Okay. Yeah, so this is really important anyway. So x bar, this is the mean. But this represents actually sample mean. So maybe next question we can also talk about population mean, but please remember that x bar means sample mean. Okay, so let's begin. It. Okay, so 75. So here's 75 minus 78.2. So 75 minus 78.2. So 78 okay, then what do you get? Then you will get negative 3.2 i do the same procedure for 85 74 79 and 78 then you will get like this so 6.8 negative 4.2 0.8 and negative 0.2 okay so now next step is you're finding mean deviation square so after finding each value like this, you need to square off each value. So negative 3.2 square, which means you are multiplying negative 3.2 twice. So negative 3.2 times negative 3.2. Then if you do so, then you will get 10.24. 
okay remember you have to multiply with the sign as well okay if you just uh, multiply negative 3.2 square then it represent negative 1 times 3.2 square so you won't get 10.24 so please be careful okay so if you do all the same procedure like a 6.8 square negative 4.2 square and 0.8 square 0.2 square then you will get this amount like this okay so again if you get uh, maybe negative 70.64 and negative 0.04 in these two blank here which means you didn't multiply negative 4.2 square i mean negative 4.2 twice exactly okay so please be careful you must multiply negative 4.2 times negative 4.2 like that okay so we're almost done so now please find the sum of this last column data so 10.24 plus 46.24 plus 17.64 plus 0.64 plus 0.04 and you will get 74.8 okay if you have that then we're almost done now i'm going to introduce how to how to calculate uh, the sample variance and sample standard deviation based on this sample data So sample variance. So notation is x square that equal to sum of x minus x bar square over n minus one. Okay. So we have this column already. And if we found the sum, which is seventy four point eight. And now total data was five before, right? So one, two, three, four, five data. So now you subset one data from the total, then this becomes four, right? So seventy-four point eight over four. So you just make division, and you will get seventy. And 18.7. Yeah, so that's the, your sample variance. So the second blank becomes 18.7. Now the last step, sample standard deviation. So notation is s that will be square root s square it means square root sum of x minus x bar square over m minus one actually we calculate this value already which is 18.7 so you can just calculate square root 18.7 Then you will get 4.32. Okay, so that will be your last answer. So 4.32. So we found um, all this answer based on the question description. So we find the sample mean and sample variance and sample standard deviation. Okay, if you have more question. Just to watch this this video maybe several more times. That's what I um, recommend you strongly. Otherwise, just uh, leave us a comment or a question or email us. All right. Thanks for joining this video, and then I look forward to seeing you uh, with the next video. Okay. Bye.